Uh, this is the uh, West Plaza for U.S. Bank Stadium. Which is a $925 million multi-use stadium. Uh, the project scope involves uh, renovation of this entire city block to create uh, event center for Vikings games, soccer games, any other events, concerts, etc. that they have in the stadium. The downtown East Plaza is a part of the stadium project and is an extension of the front plaza. Because we're disturbing an acre on the site between this site and the adjacent site, we need to have stormwater management on the site to treat the stormwater before it runs and connects to the city's storm system. On this site, we had numerous constraints. We have a very shallow city storm sewer, which necessitated very shallow cover over any system. The biggest, the biggest challenge down here is just uh, site logistics. It's uh, a lot of work to be done in a, in a very tight spot. We have uh, at least four major projects that are going on adjacent to or on our project. And so coordinating uh, deliveries, coordinating equipment, large dirt piles, big excavations is uh, very challenging. We selected the storm trap system because we have very little cover over the system and Stormtrap can design a, the, the system and the cover to withstand HS20 loading and fire truck outrigger loading. We selected Stormtrap on this project because we have some uh, heavy vehicle requirements, fire department uh, vehicle outriggers, things like that. Uh, Stormtrap is the only system that really meets the structural requirements that we needed for this project. We decided to go with the storm trap in lieu of a filter manhole because we need to have detention as well as the filter capabilities to meet the stormwater requirements. Yeah, I think that uh, from a con general contractor standpoint, uh, it's quick and efficient uh, once the product's on site and that's, that's key to uh, any project that has uh, aggressive or tight schedules as this one does. The, the storm trap system is, is more economical than utilizing a cast in place or a box culvert or some other systems. Because of the structural requirements designed into the storm trap, it could withstand the loading better than traditional pipe. It also, the maintenance of it is more economical and straightforward than using a filter manhole. The system is four feet six inches tall, utilizing a single trap from Storm Trap, which is a precast concrete modular design that allows a very customizable footprint. Uh, in, a, in a compact area and we were able to maximize the filtration surface area required in about the smallest footprint possible. During a storm event, the stormwater is captured in area drains and trench drains surrounding this site. It drains to the storm trap system. It filters through the sand section. We have 24 inches of sand in the bottom. There's drain tile at the bottom and it filters through the drain tile and drains to the city storm sewer. 